Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from Polk County Girl. And in this book review video, I'm going to be talking about the book Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Zorowski. Now, I read this book um, uh, January, February, finished it about the end of February. I've been meaning to make this video, but I just haven't. Um, Make Time... Uh, as the subtitle, uh, subtitle says, how to focus on what matters every day. Um, their big thing is about you choose one thing to focus on, your highlight. And I'm flipping through here trying to find their diagram. And that's the biggest thing you focus on that day to um, not necessarily to the exclusion of everything else because we all know stuff comes up but mainly to um, all right so that's what their little diagram looks like you know so you choose something whether it's you know if it's at work you know what's a big project you need to take a big chunk out of and then you as their next thing is laser you laser focus in on this as much as possible and then their sub thing is energize now whether that is eating properly caffeinating hydrating getting up and going for a walk whatever you need and then at the end of it you reflect at the end of the and they recommend daily reflection on you know, what did you do? How did it work? Is there something you want to try differently tomorrow? And um, they go through about 87 different steps and suggestions on how to do this. Like, for example, the, their laser tactics for staying in the zone. Uh, suggestions 56, 55 through 60. Go make a random questions list, which I really like that one because this is something I do anyways. Um, so like when you're working on your highlight or your main focus, and I do this in for meetings or anything, um, even if I'm just working in my office, if I have that random thought, that random question, it's notepad or post it, write it down, I'll get to it later. That way I can get back to what I was working on. Um, notice one breath. I don't remember. Oh, that one was um, the suggestion of, you know, maybe you just need to, I thought I saw something out the window, you know, just take one big inhale, one big exhale. I've got fuzz on me. White fuzz, black shirt, that not work. Um, Big inhale, big exhale to kind of recenter yourself if you feel like you're starting to spiral. Number 57, be bored, which I got really bad at that for a while. Like, I felt like even if I was riding in the car or something, I had to have the radio on, I had to have a podcast on, I had to have something on, I had to be learning something. And now it's gotten to, and, I, and I've seen it since I've read this book, um, I only listen to podcasts at certain times. I've started to go back to what I really used to like to do, like if I'm working around the house, I love just putting music on and dancing around like an idiot and singing along to it. So that's just me. So, and be bored, so trying to find times where okay if i'm going from point a to point b do i really need to be listening to a podcast or can i just take that five minutes and just kind of take in my surroundings you know um number 58 is be stuck and i have to relook at that one um uh when you're stuck, you know exactly what you want to do, but you're not entirely sure how to proceed. And um, 
what they recommend is um, actually get up and go for a walk, to, but focus on where what, where you're stuck. You know, get out a piece of paper and just start like. I call it spider webbing, but I don't know if anybody else calls it that. You know, you have your main point or your main focus and you just start offshooting ideas on, you know, what you could do and all that. Or if you're not paper and pen, you can, you can kind of sort of do it on a computer. It involves a lot more clicks. And then number 59, take a day off. You know, it might be one of those days where... You need a day and for those of you who cannot take a day off from work work um, maybe not take a break take a day off from that project go work on something else for a day I know I do that sometimes if I'm working if I have a large project and I'm working on it small bites at a time there are some days I just don't want to look at that project again because I'm just tired of it and um, number 60, which is go all in. Throwing yourself into the moment and trying to get as much work done as possible. Now those are only six of the 87 tips that are in here. Tips and tactics. And they, and both Jake and Jay-Z, as he is um, abbreviated in this book. And what's kind of funny about this book is in addition to see there's Jake and Jay-Z throughout the book they have little um they've inserted little my bookmark just fell out um snippets of like their own stories what's worked for them and all that and it was kind of nice to see you know what tactics they've used They've used all of these tactics at one point or another, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Tactics also include removing your email from your phone and only checking your email when you're on a laptop or a desktop computer. Now, if you have the type of work situation where you have to be able to answer your email even while you're on your vacation that's different but like like set boundaries like that um, what was it? like I said there are a whole bunch of tips and it's really it was really neat um, here, let me just show you some of the uh, table of contents and it goes through each section, section, highlight, laser, energize, where they're really into, they really recommend exercising and eating well, and then reflection. Um, there's also a um, further reading list in the back, which I'm going to use for collection development purposes at work. And... Um, yeah, the two post-its that are in here, actually. One of them is just a copy of their little map. And the other one is, what is it? It's uh, the breakdown of how you determine your highlight, which is, what is the most pressing thing I have to do today? At the end of the day, which highlight will bring me the most satisfaction? When I reflect on the day, what will bring me the most joy? What do I want to do? So, and that can be hard for some of us to figure out. And while I won't say this book has completely helped me figure out how to reorganize my time better at work, I will say that in my personal life, it, it, this book has helped more with my um, non-work life when it comes to the knitting and the writing and my would-be homestead and house projects so this has been great i do recommend this book i will post a link to it on amazon below um i'm not sure if i have affiliate links or anything so i don't know if the link is going to be an affiliate link so um 
just in case it is and I'm unsure. It may be an affiliate link. It may not be. Okay. So, make time by... I can't even remember the name. Jake Knapp and John Zaraski. I don't want to get their names wrong. Okay. You can find it on Amazon. They do have a website called um, Make Time. I think it's MakeTimeBook.com. Yes, MakeTimeBook.com. And I will try to remember to put that in the description box below. But if nothing else, check it out from your local library. Have a nice day. Bye.